Okay, I'm back live again. This time we are talking about Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And um, recently I've been doing some work with lots of titling. And you know how Premiere Pro CC is a pain when it comes to copy and paste a title. So I found an easier way to do it. All right, let's jump right straight into it. I call this I call this uh, tutorial how to copy and paste a title without altering the previous one in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Let's dive right in. Going into our Premiere Pro. Okay, what you see here is one of my recent projects. Let me turn off my face, turn off the title. Okay, as you can see, I have a title here at mozzarella cheese which is this piece here okay now there are a few ways to duplicate this okay why do, why do I want to duplicate it's because I've created a very nice template a red rectangle behind it and the fonts I want it exactly this way so there are two elements inside actually if I if I open this up I have a rectangle and I have the text, two separate elements and one in the same position, I don't want to change anything else. So um, I'm not going to show you the wrong way, I mean I'm not going to show you the long way, the long way is to go into the project panel, look for this title and then duplicate it. Okay, Why do we need to do that? Because if you just simply copy and, and then paste it, it won't work. It won't work okay for example if I paste it now control V okay let's undo let's change the track targeting control V okay now I have two instances of this title if I were to change the second one let's say I just remove the word cheese and see what happens to the one that we copied from so the first one, the cheese is also removed. So this is an annoyance. It's not so easy as to copy and then paste. All right. So we don't we don't do a copy and paste method. In Premiere Pro, there is another method which is easier than copy and paste. Okay, and, and I'm not telling you to go in. I'm not telling you to go into go into the project file and search for this and then duplicate. No, I'm not telling you to do, to do that. Okay, so let's undo it. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Okay, back here. Okay, the easiest way is to do this. Okay, you will need the keyboard. So I'm gonna turn on my camera. You need a keyboard. Okay. On your keyboard, take note of the Option key for the Mac, or the Alt key for the PC. Now, here's what we do. We want to copy this title, all right, onto onto this track. I want to put it on this oven. Okay, on this oven scene, all right. So let's come back here again. What we need to do is to first hold on to our option, our Alt key, hold on to it, and then. In the timeline, with your mouse, over here I'm using my trackpad, but with your mouse, you drag it, you drag. Okay, you can see on the timeline, a ghost copy is coming out. It's like a ghost, a soul floating out from the previous one. Okay, drag to the position you want. I want it somewhere here. And then take note, you release your mouse cursor first. Okay, release this one first. And then release your option Alt key. Now see what you have. Let me turn off my video. Now look at this. We have two titles now. Okay, I put my playhead over here. It's the same thing. Now I change the new title, a copied version. Let's say I would say 
let's put the actual words place in oven okay let's do the real thing and shift it over here place in oven close the title box okay now I have a new title here so what happens to the previous title it's still the same add mozzarella cheese and all we did is to hold the option key just a reminder a refresher we just held on to the option key drag the title you want over here let go of the mouse first then and then let go of the option alt key so automatically it creates a new title clip want to check it just just check it in the reveal it in the option there you go it automatically creates a new title clip in the project panel so so that's how you create how, how you copy and paste a title without altering the previous version if you like this video remember to subscribe for more and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below this is Adrian Lee from videolane.com signing out